Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about parallelism in SQL. See, in the serial non-parallel execution environment, a single process or the thread one undertakes the operation required to process your SQL statement and each action must complete before the succeeding action that can commence. Fine. The single oracle process might only leverage the power of the single CPU and read a single disk at any given instance means in a non-parallel execution you are sending the request fine and that task is completed and it is given back to the user so here because most of the modern hardware platform includes more than one single cpu and because the oracle data is often spread across the multiple disk here serial SQL execution cannot take the advantages of available processing power like you are selecting the data fine and here you want to just retrieve the 1 millions of records or 2 millions of records so on that time if you are doing with the non-parallel execution it will take too much of time but in case if you are executing that query fine in the 5 parallel way on that time what happened it is reducing the time up to the 5 it is reducing the time where that is reducing reducing the SQL time, SQL retrieval data time, that is the 1 by 5 times. Fine, so here Oracle supports the parallel processing of the wide range of operation including the DDL and the DML. Fine, so here queries that involve the table or the index range can, bulk insert, update, delete operation that you can do also in the parallel, table and the index creation that you can also do in the parallel because index creation sometimes takes time. So you can do these things in the parallel because that is going to be used the more CPUs and the more data disk. The collection of the object statistics using the DBM stats, backup and recovery operation using the recovery manager that is in the RMAN. The degree of parallelism that is a DOP defines the number of parallel streams of execution that will be created. Right? In the simplest case, this translates to the number of parallel slave processes enlisted to the support your SQL execution. Fine. So here Oracle server maintains the pool of parallelism slave process available from parallel operation. The database configuration parameter that is the parallel minimum server and parallel maximum server determine the initial and the maximum size of the pool. Fine. So here this is the two parameter that it is basically required to set up parallel main server and parallel max server to determine, determine the initialization maximum size of the pool. Fine, so in this session we have discussed about parallelism in SQL which is more efficient than the executing the query in the non-parallel environment. Thank you.